This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. So now we've seen the list of data types that are acceptable in VBA, we now need to look at how we can use those data types. The first step is to use them to declare the data type of parameters that we would want to pass into any of our procedures. So if we take our guy code module, and we know we have our two procedures in here, our subroutine and our function. Our subroutine currently has no parameters being passed in. But that's what the brackets are for. Within those brackets, we can declare parameters that we would want to pass in to the subroutine for the subroutine to then make use of. So we've got our guy sub. If I wanted to pass a little bit of text in there that I'd like to use, I would firstly need to give the variable a name. I'm going to call it my text space as space. And you'll notice a little drop list appears of available options. And I'm going to start typing string and you'll see that it appears in the list, a string. If strings what I want, I just then tab. So the parameter being passed in is called my text and I can make use of that within my subroutine. And it's of the data type string. Now, if I want to pass more than one parameter into my subroutine, I simply put a comma. Perhaps I'd like to pass a number in my number. Notice my naming convention here is the camel case, where the first word is lowercase, but the second word is uppercase. And I'm not using spaces, and I tend to avoid underscores. My number as, and again, the little drop list appears, and that's going to be an integer. So as I start typing, it moves down the list, and as I get to integer, I can then tab to accept that. Now what you'll find, as soon as you then move to the end of the line outside the brackets, and just press return to effectively accept that command, the VBA editor has changed the as into a capital A, string into a capital S, this as into capital A, and integer into capital I. And that's just standard naming convention. They would work in lowercase, but the VBA editor likes everything to be consistent, and it does make for life easy to follow if things are consistent. So the as will go capital A, the data types will go capital initial letter. You can use any naming convention you like, for the actual names of your parameters. So that's passing the parameter into your subroutine. If you want to pass a parameter into a function so that the function can make use of that, it's exactly the same procedure. So the first thing is to name the parameter. I'm going to call this one my param as. Then I need to define the data type. This is going to be a double D O U, and I'm down into the correct point in the list. And tab puts double in the list for me. And again, should you wish to pass in more than one value, you can just separate the parameters with a comma. So I'm going to pass in my param as double. I'm going to pass in my number as integer. And I'm going to pass in my text as string. So I've got three parameters going into this particular function. The function still has to be written to tell it what to do with those parameters, but the values can now enter the function. Now the slight difference here in a function from a subroutine is that a function can actually return a value to the program. The subroutine cannot return any values. It's called, it does its job, and then it stops. The function is called, it does its job, and then can return a value back to the calling program, depending on where you've called it from. Because we can return a value with our function, we need to define the data type of the returning value. Outside of this set of brackets, so our function name is here, we open set of brackets, any parameters that are required by the function are declared within the brackets. We then close the brackets. And after the brackets, we need to declare the data type of the value that will be returned. Again, it's as, and then what data type is going to be returned. Well, this function here might just return a Boolean data type, i.e. a yes or a no value. And that Boolean value will be returned back to the calling pocket of code that selected the function. Now notice the line is not color coded correctly. We need to make sure we press return at the end of the line. Then the VBA editor does all proper color coding and changing of any case. Notice all the as's have become capital A's, all the data types become capital initial letters, and all the as's and data types have gone blue because they're keywords to Visual Basic. And that's passing in parameters to either a routine or a function. And in the extra case of a function, finding the data type of the value that gets returned by that function.